Good afternoon everyone, Father Brett here, Thursday afternoon. So some thoughts uh, on the readings for this coming Sunday, the 13th Sunday of Ordinary Time in uh, Cycle A. The readings are, are very interesting and the overarching theme is hospitality and perhaps even a little bit more than just hospitality and welcome but rather generous hospitality and warm welcome um, that um, God is a generous and welcoming God and we all of us who worship such a God are called to reflect that generosity that warm welcome to others in our living. And so let's have a look at the readings for this Sunday. The first reading is taken from the second book of Kings, chapter 4, verses 8 to 11, and then 14 to 16. The psalm is Psalm 89, and the second reading is... Uh, a continuation of St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 6, verses 3 to 4, and then 8 to 11. The Gospel is uh, from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, so you know that we're still in the missionary discourse like we were last Sunday, and in fact, if we had celebrated the 11th Sunday instead of Corpus Christi, we would have also been speaking about uh, the missionary discourse instructions of Jesus to his disciples. This is almost the third Sunday in a row uh, where we are reading from the missionary discourse chapter 10. So chapter 10 verses 37 to 42. And if we start with the gospel as we usually do, we'll see that it's almost divided into two parts. The first part, speaking about um, uh, disciples and their relationship with father and mother, family and friends, and um, the instruction that you know, if we, we love our family more than we love the gospel, then perhaps we're, we're not going to find or enjoy the, the life that the gospel promises. And that's hard reading, eh? and it seems to contradict um, the, the message of Jesus that we, that we uh, love one another, that we build relationships with one another. Here it is, you know, we must walk away from those relationships for the sake of the gospel. So a bit challenging that for us. And then the second part of the gospel for this week um, speaks about welcome and what, uh, what, people are expected to do in welcoming others. So that's Matthew's Gospel um, for this Sunday. Um, challenging as I said, but as we made our way through this missionary discourse, we've realized that yeah, the, the, the Gospel is a challenge to disciples. Uh, those who call themselves disciples of Jesus will be challenged by the gospel and challenged most especially in bringing that gospel to others. And so we shouldn't really be uh, surprised by the challenge found in uh, the section of Matthew's gospel. Uh, in fact, we need to reflect on the challenge and consider our commitment to living as disciples and being missionary. Um, that second part of the gospel links quite clearly to the first reading and the prophet Elisha. Um, 
Remember, pro the prophet Elisha follows the prophet Elijah. He is his successor. And we know from that story of how the succession, the prophetic succession from Elijah to Elisha was passed down. And so we have a real sense, therefore, that Elisha is a holy man. He is a man of God. He is a prophet. Um, and the, the family, the, the husband and wife, um, elderly couple, perhaps, we seem to get a sense that they are, are, are elderly, um, uh, welcome this holy man. In Old Testament times, um, the roofs of houses, obviously they were flat, would have been used for different things. But, uh, and maybe uh, somebody would have, a traveler would have spent a night on, on the roof. Um, but here it goes much, much further than that, doesn't it? She, the wife, actually builds a, a shelter for the prophet. Um, obviously, as it says, wealthy enough to do that. But she goes beyond what would perhaps normally be considered a welcome to a stranger. And so there is the sense of a generous welcome. Um, so that's, that comes out clearly in our first reading. The reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans is about baptism. And St. Paul emphasizes the the real, um, the dimension of death, particularly in, the, in baptism, that we die to the old self, the old way. We die to our sin uh, so as to rise to new life. Um, and it is through this passage of death, of submersion into the water, that we are able to experience this new life. And I think that links to what we would, would see as, as a vital dimension of discipleship. Baptism is this welcome, this entry into the church, sure, but it is also about putting away our old self, our old ways of doing things and to accept and to, to take on, to be clothed, hey, we know that, to be clothed with Christ, the things of, of Christ. And one of those things is generous welcome, acceptance of others. You know, dear friends, homily preparations are sure about the readings, what is what is the gospel saying? What is St. Paul saying? Whatever it is, what, what's the message? But that message always speaks into our concrete reality. And that's why it's always, as the letter to the Hebrews says, alive and active. This word of God is not a dead word of God. It's not a historical word of God. We're reading something about something in the past. No, this Word of God speaks to us. And so, in a world that is isolated, where people find themselves isolated, countries and communities and families and people, this idea of welcome and community, of generous care and love for others, especially those who are different, is a powerful word for us at this time, of course, but not only because of the virus that isolates us, but because so often the words spoken today speak of exclusion, of uh, almost um, a neo-nationalism, hey? um, where, where communities and countries are are looking inwards instead of outwards, where people are building walls and hoping to keep the stranger out or apart. Um, 
And so this word speaks powerfully today to this situation. And also in a world where there is so much hatred and division, issues like racism are still such big things, not only here in South Africa, in our own country as we grapple with our past, but in other countries around the world, we are seeing this. Eh? Haven't those signs of the English footballers kneeling before their uh, games um, in support of Black Lives Matter? Haven't they been powerful? And so there are ways and there is a great need, clearly, to speak about these issues. And the readings today that speak of generosity and hospitality and welcome have got a message for our times, I think. Huh? I, I firmly believe that. And also, for us here at St. Joseph's, one of our most important uh, concerns and considerations is that we build a welcoming community. That everyone here uh, welcomes everyone. That there is no stranger amongst us. That whoever you are, wherever you come from, whatever you have done, however far or lost you may, you may be, there is a place here. And we have worked hard to do that here at St. Joseph's. And it is a, uh, a work in progress. There's still much for us to do. Um, so with those thoughts, I think it is clear that the readings of this 12th, 13th Sunday, sorry, speak powerfully to us. So perhaps we can reflect before we gather for Mass on Sunday, or we can reflect on our welcome, our attitude to those who are different, our attitudes towards the stranger, because the gospel and we are disciples, missionary disciples of the gospel, calls us to a generous welcome. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. I hope these thoughts help you to prepare well, and we look forward to seeing you. God bless, take care, and be safe.